All right, what's up guys? Brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! event. We've got the Dual Triangle Fusion Synchro XYZ event. Basically, there are three events in one. It's actually kind of incredible that they managed to do this, but uh, you've got a Fusion event, a Synchro event, an Exceed event. Every single time uh, you win, you add points to one of these three groups. And I, from what they did last time was they gave out sleeves for free based on the group that won and last time i remember it was the dark sleeves that came out and they were free this time i imagine it's the same situation we're probably going to get like sleeves or something depending on what group wins uh, something similar to that but i overall i think it's a pretty cool event it's basically you have to play the decks pure uh, based on their summoning mechanic links are absolutely not in the game uh, whatsoever no rituals it's just you're kind of uh you're, you're fighting it out with these no decks that uh use all three for example and then they've got some loner decks available all the loner decks are kind of decent if i'm going to be honest with you well not all of them but every every type has a decent loner deck i'd say the crimson king one's pretty good i wouldn't use these two uh but like depending on which one you've got here they're decent loner decks and decent budget decks that we're going to talk about but first would you like to make your master tool experience a whole lot better are you ready to take your Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Play experience to a new level? The Untapped GG Companion is here for you. Use the deck tracker to know exactly what cards you have in your deck, and to go over any cards you aren't familiar with yet by hovering over them. It instantly updates when you draw a card, and automatically hides if you check your extra deck or graveyard. This is the perfect tool to help you master a new deck. The Untapped GG Companion also lets you import decks directly into the game in seconds. Copy any YDK or YDKE deck string, create a new deck in game, click the Start Auto Import button, and let us take the wheel. Once the duel is over, check your win rate on your personal stats page. Brag among your friends and share your deck so they can import them into the game too. Start your path to master today, downloading the Untapped GG Companion at ygom.untapped.gg. All right, guys, this is the first deck I'm going to show you. Uh, excuse the lack of cards. I'm on my uh, masochist account, so, uh, you know, not the same amount of stuff here. Uh, but basically, this is the first deck I'm going to show you. It's actually a spoiler. It is the best deck in the entire thing. Uh, Pearlies did not get hit at all. They are at full power, and I mean full power. Plus, they got their new card, Noir. So, I mean, it's at full power, plus it's got new cards. Also, on top of that, Maxi's gone that's good for the deck on top of that kaijus are gone on top of that underworld goddess is gone so how are you going to out this thing when it has like 5,000 attack you're probably not it's unaffected by everything has 5,000 attack you're probably not going to out it uh but this deck is more than likely the best deck in the game if i had to guess uh in the, not in the game but in this thing snake eye you can technically play if you mix it with like tgs or something like that but pure snake eye is pretty beat up because it doesn't have the link monsters that it needs like link karibo among other things uh but yeah no link karibo no promethean princess stuff like that pearly is an absolute full power this is uh, there's nothing here that I would be like, oh, I want to play that. Maybe you can, maybe the Sky Striker Azalea card, but that's about it. Other than that, full power. Uh, you go into the boss monster. If this deck goes first, it's going to be very tough to beat it unless you're playing a ton of hand traps. All right, next up, we have another XC deck. I'm going to do the, them in order by the deck. I'm going to try to include a budget deck with all of them. Uh, next, we've got Kashtira. Kashtira has been a very good deck for a very long time, and it doesn't change with this with this uh, festival. It's still a very good deck. You still have Fenrir. Uh, Fenrir is very good. Unicorn's at one, but you can just bump up the uh, the lesser good uh, Kashtira monsters, and you're still good to go. You just increase the hand traps, increase the uh, yeah, increase the kind of tech cards that you're playing, evenly matched. Uh, infinite impairment stuff like that same thing with the extra deck the good thing about this deck is a lot of people probably already have it lying around so if you have it lying around don't spend the gems just play this don't you know why spend money you don't have to uh play this deck if you've already got it if you don't got it then you should probably play something else uh, obviously if you're gonna make anything pearly is a lot better than this um but this is still a very strong and competitive deck, and if it goes first against Pearly, it can do it can do some damage. All right, next up is Sue Ship. I try to include at least one budget option for every single deck. Uh, this is Sue Ship with a rank three engine. I thought would be pretty cool. So you've got the Speedway Terror Top. It's now three. You can use it with the rank three engine. I've also thrown in the Armored XYZ package into this. Uh, which is pretty good because it can steal your opponent's monster, attach it as link material. It's actually a very good package. As long as you can make a rank 3 or a rank 4, you're good to go. So that's why I threw in the Terra Top in here. Uh, but overall, you've got all of the Sioux Ships. Extremely budget budget deck. Uh, so the only thing you really like have to craft 
Zeus, I mean, you already probably have a Zeus. Everyone has a Zeus. You don't have to play the Cicada King. It's decent, but you don't have to play it. Uh, most of the URs in here, you probably already own. I mean, they're, they're, they're staples. You should own Ash Blossom. You should own uh, stuff like this. Uh, so the only UR that you legitimately have to craft that you prob may not own is the Full Armor Dark Knight. That's it. Everything else you pretty much should own. Um, or if you don't own, they're like rares and commons and maybe a few SRs like... This is an SR and this is an SR, but let's be realistic. That's like six. If you include these, like maybe you can re re reduce these copies. You've got like maybe six, seven SRs that you have to craft. And you have a fully new deck that you can try out and have fun with. And it's a budget deck pretty much, which is really cool. Uh, just play whatever staples you have and uh, a couple of SRs and you, you're you good to go. You're ready to go. Don't even have to invest anything into this um, event. And you can get the gems from it and spend it on whatever you want. You don't have to worry about... Um, yeah, you don't have to worry about creating a special deck just to win. So that's always cool. Okay, next up we'll go with fusions. Uh, our fusion decks here, uh, I don't think, I don't know if there are any budget decks for the fusion decks, but I think this is a really cool deck. This is Dark Lord with Despia. Uh, every fusion deck will pretty be, pretty much be mixed with Branded Despia. Uh, just because Branded Despia is such a great engine. And you can only really play it as an engine because Aluber is at one, uh, Branded Fusion is at 1. Uh, opening is, I believe, at 1 also. So pretty much everything's at 1 in the main deck. But what's cool about this version is you've got all of the Branded stuff in here. Uh, you've also got the Despia stuff in here. So you've got the power from the Despia. like you've got the first Dark Lord and stuff like that. But on top of that, you can play Nemesis Keystone. And you can play Thunder Dragon Colossus. And you can basically, you're banishing constantly because you're banishing... Uh, to fusion summon, you're banishing for tragedy, you're banishing for allure of darkness, you're banishing for branded and red, you're constantly ban you're banishing for uh, Albion, you're constantly, constantly banishing. So you get to banish all of these cards, and then afterwards, uh, you can activate Nemesis Corridor, and then make Thunder Dragon Colossus, and you have whatever board you're going to make, plus Thunder Dragon Colossus, and that can actually slow down a lot of decks, because your opponent won't be able to search, it's just very, very strong. So overall, I think this is a fairly fun, creative deck. And if you're going to craft something new, this is this is something fun. That's this is something new that's fun to play. So if you already have Despia, right? If you already have Despia, because a lot of us have Despia at this point because it's a uh, deck that's been relevant for such a long time. If you've already got the entire Despia engine, I don't think it's a bad idea to craft uh, the Dark Lords. They're fun. You, you may, they do have a few URs, right? So you've got like Superbia, but for the most part, it's all SRs up here. And then you have basically just Dark Lord, the first Dark Lord, and Superbia. This is this you can play at one. This you can play at one. You got two URs, other SRs, and you basically have a whole new deck to mix with your existing Despia deck. And it's a perfect thing if you already have it. Here's the new engine to play. It just makes it a lot more fun. All right, next up we've got Chimera. This is another deck that is kind of up in the conversation of one of the best decks. It didn't get hit at all. I mean, you can make the argument that the Dark Barrier statue is something that is missing uh, but at the same time it's not like it's an obligatory card you didn't have to play it uh, you've still got super poly you've still got all of the super poly targets which is really cool um, yeah the deck is essentially at full power the engine in this deck is insane it's, it really is bananas if it wasn't for snake eye being tier zero uh well not tier zero if the snake eye wasn't tier one this is easily this easily would have been one of the better decks in the game if not one of the best decks in the game so this event has no Snake Eye and no Maxi, and I think this deck will actually flourish. It's very good, has a ton of interruptions, and it has a bunch of negates that come out of the graveyard. Uh, like at the Kotal, for example, um, it can negate out of the graveyard. Um, is another one also, I'm, I'm forgetting it right now, I think it's this right here. Uh, yeah, it activates an effect, negate it. Like if it negates out of the graveyard, you have interruptions, you can make Chimera so super easily. Um, super duper easily in this deck uh you've got this new guy the magnum dude he's really good uh yeah just a very very strong engine probably goes like plus five plus six every single turn even during your opponent's turn very strong engine and you can definitely outgrind pearly all right last fusion deck we've got the branded tier limit so this deck is actually again in this particular event you kind of have to play play branded as an engine uh, because unfortunately, Branded is very, very hit on the ban list. Uh, at the same time, Tierlemon is very hit on the ban list. So you have two decks that are very, very hit on the ban list, and you can kind of combine them and then build sort of a deck that is somewhat, uh, you know, somewhat workable. Which, uh, honestly, it's actually quite strong, especially if you end on certain things like Winda, 
Um, you can easily end on a lot like like a Camira Jade plus a Window. You can easily end on something like that. You don't have like Time Thief Redoer, for example, but you still have a ton of options available to you. You just basically take all of the parts of these two different decks and combine them together. This is perfect for somebody that already has the decks. Now I will say I couldn't come up with an uh, like a budget option for Fusion just because all of the Fusion decks are pretty expensive and they kind of require the branded stuff except for Chimera, but Chimera is in itself a high rarity deck. So I couldn't really come up with a budget deck for the fusion so if you've got one please let us know in the comment section because i'm sure other people would love to be able to play fusions and have some kind of budget deck uh, i i was thinking about including luna lights for example but they're not particularly budget either uh, and they're more of an otk strategy now they can actually they can actually otk uh pearly which is really nice but it, you know it's a very specific matchup all right last up we've got synchro so synchros actually have the most budget decks out of all of them now the problem is synchros have been hit somewhat more than some of the others because like for example sword soul is a very good synchro deck but it does actually need to use the link monsters not always but occasionally like most of the time you don't need the link monsters uh most of the time you just kind of summon two synchro monsters you just summon a baron and a shishao and a blackout and maybe a hand trap and that's good enough uh, but the problem is uh, sometimes you actually do need to go into um, like the Tetanyes, but at the same time you don't particularly need them because you can just summon uh, you could just summon for example the token and then you just banish out of the graveyard and whatever effect you wanted to use for the uh, the Tetanyes you can actually use even even just by banish them out of the out of the graveyard while the tokens up on the board so it's not like it's particularly necessary uh, but at the same time it's good to have uh, a little more consistency uh, by just being able to go into a monk but that's the only thing that's really missing is 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 yeah just the, the tangy link monsters the two tangy link monsters without those the deck is still very very good it does pretty much the same thing it's not like you were summoning the tangy monk every single game anyway so you could still do all of the regular source soul stuff that you did before and the good thing about this deck is it is technically a budget deck i mean it is they literally gave it away for free they gave this deck if you want it all you have to do is find a noob and you and the noob get the deck so um or if you want if you want to make a new account i guess you could just do that if if you were inclined to do so uh but yeah you can basically get this deck for free on your account just by uh giving your code to a noob and then you're good to go Next is Blackwing. This is technically a budget deck too because it is a structure deck. So you spend 1,500 gems and uh, you get a new deck. And the the structure decks are never a bad deal because you're essentially getting a whole new strategy to play with and you're getting it at extremely reduced prices uh, because, I mean, again, you're paying 1,500 gems. You don't have to crack packs. Like, you know how many packs you would have to open if you wanted to pull all of this Blackwing stuff like separately it would be so expensive but this is the awesome part you can just get 1500 1500 gems get yourself a blackwing deck and you get to learn so you get to learn how to play blackwings a new combo deck that you've never played on top of that uh it's only 1500 gems it's a very small investment by playing the the festival i think you get like 3000 gems and that doesn't even include dailies that just includes the stuff they're giving you just by doing the festival so you're getting 3000 plus dailies you spend 15 and you still have like 1500 left over to spend on whatever you want and then from the dailies you probably would earn over the course of seven days you probably earn another like seven eight hundred so you have all of these extra gems just by picking up a structure deck and you get to learn a new deck which is cool because you learn a new skill all right last up is resonators now this is again kind of a budget deck not because it's a budget deck to build this deck it's actually kind of expensive in certain regards especially with the extra deck uh, but the reason I say it's somewhat of a budget deck is because it's a loner deck. So you can go play it if you really wanted to. Uh, it's a loner deck. And this is actually a really strong deck. Uh, Dispatter is an extremely good card in this deck. Uh, it's basically, it might as well be called, uh, it might as well be called Red Dragon, Dis Red Dragon Archfiend Dispatter. It might as well rename this card because it's, it's more of a Red Dragon Archfiend card than it is a... a uh, a bestial. I mean, this no one even thinks of this as a bestial anymore. It says bestial. You kind of forget that it's a bestial. Uh, it's more of a disbatter than anything. I mean, it's more of a red dragon archfiend card than anything else. Uh, but yeah, this deck is really cool. Like I said, it's basically budget because it is technically a loner deck. All of the synchro options are really good. You have a loner deck. You have a deck they give you for free, and then you've got a structure deck. So you have 
great options for synchros. Um, the best, honestly, like I said, is probably going to be purely in, purely in this event. But uh, let me know what you guys are playing in the comment section down below if there's anything that I forgot, because I definitely did. There's so many decks to choose from. But like always, thank you for watching. La, 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 la.